Hey there, and thanks for watching. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you a custom GPT that we built that creates an advanced mortgage amortization schedule in Excel. Now, first to orient you to what this tool does is it asks for a series of inputs and then it enters those inputs into an Excel file that we have already built. Now, if you're familiar with the various amortization tables we've shared on ACRE, this is one of them. We call it our advanced mortgage amortization, and it allows for a whole variety of inputs that would uh, produce an advanced mortgage amortization table. And traditionally how it works is you go to the website, you download the Excel file, you follow the instructions, say from a video, and you change the blue font cells. But what we've done is we've, tra we've trained a custom GPT that does most of that work for you. So I'll include a link to this custom GPT as of April, 2024, you'll need to have a premium version of ChatGPT in order to access custom GPTs. Assuming you have that, you'll arrive at this page and you'll start. You're gonna to wanna to prompt the GPT. I have some template prompts here you can use, such as I need help amortizing a mortgage loan. So we'll, we'll click that and it starts and it asks, great, I can help you, let's gather some information. And, it, and then it is asking us for a series of inputs. Now again, these are the inputs that we otherwise would have entered here. But the nice thing about a custom GPT is that if we're unsure about an input, we can ask, and it, it now has been trained on the model and, and such that it can help you then fill out those inputs. The other nice thing is I can just speak to it like I would say to my analyst. I'd say, okay, this is a new loan, not a loan assumption. Uh, it's with, let's say, Riverside Mortgage. Uh, now it asks for the interest calculation method. Maybe we don't know. So say, I don't know the interest calculation method. Uh, that asks for a loan type, bank, CMBS, LifeCo, private, other. We'll say this is a private loan with a fixed rate. Uh, the analysis start. So the analysis start would be generally, since this is a new loan, when it begins, we'll say uh, July 1 of 2024. So we, we feed that. And it's gonna help us now with this interest calculation method. It says, here are the options you can choose from, each pertaining to how interest is calculated based on the days in the month. So 3360, actual, actual, actual 360, actual 365. And we could actually prompt it further. And it says, if you're unsure, 3360 is commonly used, but it's best to confirm this detail. So I'll say, yeah, great. Uh, let's go with 3360. So now it has the first stage of inputs. Uh, it's going to confirm new loan, Riverside Mortgage, 3360 interest calc method. It's a private lender, fixed rate, analysis start date July 1, 2024. Then it asks for loan amount, loan fee, annual rate. So we'll say um, $5 million loan amount with a 50 basis point loan fee. It's a... I don't know, let's say 7%, 7% rate, amortizing over 30 years, no IO, 10 year term. Uh, I don't know what type of payment. Because it asks, choose between a static or dynamic. And perhaps that's some logic specific to this model. And so it's gonna help us with that static. It says, okay, regarding the payment type, there's two options, static, this means the debt service payments are the same each month, or dynamic, the monthly payments adjust depending on the interest due and the amortization schedule, recalculating the amortization schedule at the end of each period to ensure the loan exactly amortizes based on the inputted amortization period. Which payment type would you prefer for the loan structure? If you're uncertain, static payments are commonly used. So I'll say static. So now it has the inputs it needs, but it's gonna verify them with us. It gives us the list, Again, the inputs that were in our first step, then it says, okay, $5 million loan amount, uh, 50 basis points or 0.5%, 7% annual rate, 360 months of amortization, no interest only, 120 month loan term and the static payment. Then it asks, would you like me to proceed with updating the Excel file with these values? Yes. 
So now what it's going to do, it's going to take these values and it's actually going to input them into this file. Okay. And again, traditionally you would do this on your own and you would have to understand each of these inputs. And if you don't understand them, you'd have to refer to a video here. If you don't understand an input, you just simply ask the custom GPT. And then again, it is going to input those values into an Excel, which is done with, and then it's going to give us the file to download. We now click download updated mortgage amortization schedule. We open that file. And now if you'll notice here, it gives us some instructions, please open it, click enable editing and refer to the amortization worksheet for the final result. Let me know if you'd like to make any changes or if you have any questions. So we come here, we click enable editing. Now we can edit the file and that's important. So we then come to the amortization worksheet and you'll see all of the inputs that we fed to the GPT now are in the model. And we can change them further. We can say actually it's a seven and a quarter rate and the model will update accordingly. Now we can also come back and say, excellent. Um, but for instance, there is this lender yield piece. And so we might say, what is lender yield? Maybe we're confused about something in the model and it's now going to be able to answer that. Or perhaps we open this and we see this whole interest calculation section and duration section out here to the right. And we might say, uh, I see in columns X and Y a duration calculation. What is that? And then it says the duration calculation in the context of mortgage amortization refers to the measure of the sensitivity of the loan's price, its present value to change to changes in interest rates. Here are more details. So then it gives us some details about what more uh, what a duration is, how duration is calculated, purpose of the duration, practical use, and you'll see that here. Here's the duration: six point seven seven years. There's also average life. Interesting. What is the average? life concept I see. And then it provides us some instruction around average life. And so that is our advanced mortgage amortization schedule custom GPT. Give it a try. Let us know if you see any bugs or if there's anything you would like us to improve on. And as with all of our models, we'll continue to update as we receive that feedback. Otherwise, thanks for your time. <laughs>